Welcome to Tying Michigan's Best Trout Flies. Today we're going to talk about posting with natural materials and specifically the difference between posting with calf body hair and with deer hair. So let's get started. Yeah, I really wanted to, to revisit this thought about uh, posting with natural materials, in particular uh, the difference between posting with calf body hair and the posting with deer hair because most of the uh, the videos I see if they're using natural materials it's usually a calf body hair but what I've learned over the years is that posting with deer hair is much quicker it's much superior so just to demonstrate that the first thing we're going to do is do a post with calf body hair so I'm going to cut off just to cut off a little snip of this and uh, throw it in the stacker, and uh, Aaron's gonna Aaron's gonna time the posting of the of the calf uh, uh, post for us, so we'll get a sense of how much longer it takes to do this than it does with deer here. So, just to get these tips evened up, then we'll get our calf out of there, and. Got that all set, so we're going to apply this to our hook now, right there, and count the thread wraps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we can trim that. Now we have to lift it up, stand it up in the front. Let's see how many thread wraps this takes. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, not there yet six seven eight nine ten not quite eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen not too bad now we're going to post it and see how many wraps this will take to post it one two three four five six seven eight that should be good and so what about 30 wraps to post that and uh, so how long would you say it took to post with this uh, calf body here Aaron about a week and a half yeah it sounds about right okay so there's there's what it's like to post with calf body here makes a nice looking post I'll grant you that but uh, let's put another hook in and we're gonna see how long it takes to post with deer hair we'll get this ready to go Put our thread on to the post position and get some deer hair ready to go. So the deer hair, when you use deer hair like this, you see the tips are, are nearly even. It doesn't have to be stacked, so that eliminates uh, some of our time. So we'll just cut a little section of that off and switch our switch hands here, maybe even it up just a tiny bit. And we're ready to post that. See how many wraps it takes to put this in place. There. One, two, three, four. And we'll cut that off there. And then to stand it up, how many wraps does it take? One, two, three. Now it's standing up straight. See the difference? It, it takes like three times as long to, uh, to wrap the thread on it. On it if you're going to use calf body hair. And post it, it'll probably take about the same uh, amount of wraps for that. But... But that's okay uh, so now our deer hair post is done so a lot quicker and uh, it takes a lot less effort there's no stacking involved and you've got uh, an acceptable post uh, made out of deer hair so uh, just think about that if you're using calf body hair there's nothing wrong with it it makes a nice post but if you want to save some time and do just as good a job, uh, use some, use some uh, nice uh, white deer hair. So uh, hope you picked up a tip or two, and we'll see you the next time.